All right, Mom and Dad, you want to buy healthy foods for the family, right? But the bill at the checkout line can be pricey. There's a new list out ranking the top 10 fruits with the most nutritional bang for your buck. Dr. Banjana, Banjana Vide from the Mayo Clinic back here on the morning show with a look at uh, well, those 10 fruits and vegetables that'll help you keep healthy. Welcome back. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me today. All right. I see we have blackberries here. Right. Great Boy. source of vitamins, but you know what? You go to the store, they're a little pricey. Right. Exactly. But I think, honestly, they are worth it because blackberries have one of the highest levels of antioxidants of any food. And that beautiful purple color comes from a group of antioxidants called anthocyanins. And that's really what helps prevent heart disease, lowers your risk of cancer. Um, so I say when it comes to nutrients and antioxidants, purple is actually the new green when you think about fruits and vegetables. So I think it's well worth it. And of course, other uh, berries that we know, the brightly colored berries like strawberries, cranberries, blueberries, raspberries, all have high levels of antioxidants. And what you're saying is even though they might be a bit pricey, it's an I investment in your well. health. Exactly. So it's probably exactly. worth it. Exactly. You've right. got red grapes here. Big difference between red and green grapes? There are actually. So so red grapes have resveratrol, which is the exact same antioxidant that's so heart healthy in red wine. So it provides the same benefits, and actually it's sort of packed in um, the peel, so don't peel your grapes. Mm -hmm. uh, then we go to the pomegranate. You know, it, it's not as, as, as pedestrian as, say, you know, apples and oranges, but it should be part of your daily intake. Sure, exactly. Pomegranates um, are one of the oldest cultivated fruits packed with nutrients. And our cameraman was speaking about how he needs to have high potassium mm -hmm. to normalize his blood pressure. And pomegranate has good potassium levels. It also has antioxidants that help present, prevent heart disease. So it's really a, what we call a super fruit for that right. reason. And it doesn't have the calories of, say, a banana, which right. is also exactly. high in potassium. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. All right. We live in Florida. Orange of is a course, staple of our diet. Of course, diets. I have to say that. And vitamin C, um, there's very high levels in oranges. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, helps boost the immune system. And the other thing that vitamin C does is it helps the absorption of iron in our stomach. So the iron that you're eating will be absorbed with the oranges. All right, before we run out of time here, because we've got about a minute left, let's talk a little bit about apples. You suggest what, like red delicious? Right, red. So any kind of apple is healthy, but especially sort of the more red, um, the, the better it is. And the nutrients are actually in the peel. So again, this is another fruit that you don't want to peel. Um, it contains pectin, which is a type of fiber that helps lower cholesterol and helps um, stabilize blood sugars. And there's evidence that it actually helps brain function and helps memory. Uh, let's take a look at the other five that are uh, on the list out sure. there. We've got figs, hot peppers, kiwi, avocado, and tomatoes. Right. So figs have lutein, which helps vision, um, lots of iron. Hot peppers or any kind of peppers have capsaicin, which helps decrease the inflammation from um, uh, osteoarthritis. And kiwi is nice, mild flavor. You can actually mash it and put